no one looked like me. I was the only African-American woman in the entire department. Like, I pick up on small things every day. I'll see that when I go into class, it'll be nobody sitting next to me. If there aren't black engineers here at U of I, I honestly don't know where they're at. African Americans are severely underrepresented. We have to uh, do the right thing. We have to start to think creatively. My name is Dr. Yamaya Bourdain. I'm the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I came from a very poor background, and even when I started college, I had no idea that one could earn a doctorate in electrical engineering. I didn't know that there was a doctorate um, available to anyone other than uh, someone who wanted um, to become a physician. My oldest brother was uh, 10 years older than me and he was my very first teacher. He was the person who checked my report cards, he checked my homework, he went on field trips uh, as a chaperone, and he, he was always the strongest supporter of uh, this, this academic journey. I was 16 years old, uh, he's 26 years old, when he was diagnosed with um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and he uh, suffered through cancer, he went into remission for about nine months in between, and when he came out of remission, he lasted about six, six months. Um, he died in my arms four months before I started college. What he told me before he passed away, just a week before he passed away, was to take every opportunity to be educated. So I was very lucky to have gone to Clark Atlanta University for my undergraduate studies, a historically black university. When I got here though, there was just a huge culture shock. That time was was very difficult. It was the first time that, you know, I was in a, a community where no one looked like me. I was the only African American woman in the entire department for three full years. There was so much crying. I will always be committed to uh, expanding um, STEM education amongst minorities and amongst underrepresented groups. There must be some type of support system. And so what, what I've done in that regard is that I've started an organization, I co-founded an organization called Graduate Engineers Diversifying Illinois, and uh, for short we call it JEDI, to capture students as soon as they got on campus, as soon as you started taking classes and you were saying, oh my goodness, I can't do it, I can't make it. All of the tears that, that we experienced and let them know that we're here and we're here to support you. When it comes to underrepresented minorities, we have a very unique perspective. We have uh, very unique problems that we find that we can solve because we understand them, we've lived through them. That's why it's important that we sit at the table. That's why it's important that we're here. 